once you get past Carter and Kopitar, you still like I, I think uh, Stoll, your buddy uh, Stoley there, is as good as anybody in terms of playing that that seven game series type of hockey, key draws, battles against the wall, get to the net, and Mike Richards. All of a sudden, yeah. people are starting to talk about this guy not being here in the next few years based on the the length of his contract and not having the minutes that uh his salary d uh would command six more right. years at six seven right. six listen i don't th I, I, I put him in a different situation than brad richards here i think the rangers will be forced to buy out brad richards i think that mike richards would well, probably be looking at a trade well, the issue here for the for just to explain the issue for Brad Richards is if he retires and then the, the, the buyouts and, and how it affects the salary cap and uh, that punishes you. For, for Mike Richards, they really want to re-sign Gabrick and you take Mike Richards' money and give so, it to Gabrick. So what you say to Brad, if you're Glenn Sather, is you, you have to make, you have to guarantee us you're not retiring. You know, because the money drops off so dramatically. How do you do that? He got all his front end money. Well, if Brad wants to stay in New York Ranger, I mean, what? But you don't know what it's going to be like in four years from now, five but, years but from only, now. But if you're only paying him a million bucks a year, what's the difference? You know, I mean, the bottom line is, you know, there's going to be concessions yeah. on both sides. And the Rangers, I don't know. I mean, I, I think they buy him out. Richards here, probably not. But you know what? Both teams are thinking a little bit about that right now, but they're not. They're, they're thinking about what value Brad and and Mike bring in this series and win in a Stanley Cup. Yeah. That's what they're. Brad's thinking. a buyout. Right Mike they could, could be a trade. Mike, yeah. Mike, they're, they're, yeah. listen. The problem with Mike here in L.A. is that he just can't find the minutes to justify his salary. That's the bottom line. Yeah, they've here. knocked him down to you around not, fifteen on average. Right? right. It's it's Carter and Kopitar, and you can't pay a third line guy that type of money. I, I would believe that there's fifteen. Teams minimum that could use a Mike Richards Pretty in the top part six. Of that dressing room. Well,